Hi everyone, it's me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living here in the UK for the past six years. And today's video is very special because I am about to taste test seven British ciders completely blind. This video was made possible. I just realized I got a huge smudge. Oh my God. This video is made possible by community members, Ellie and Lily. Thank you guys so much on my Patreon account where I release bonus content and live streams and all sorts of bits. I have a PO box. So Ellie and Lily designed this video for me and they sent to my PO box seven British ciders completely wrapped up and painted. We have no idea what they are. So I'm going to taste test all of them, rank them, and then unwrap them. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos of completely unnecessary taste tests, perhaps, please consider subscribing, but without further ado, let's go. Now what ciders are on the menu today? These ciders. All right, let's get to it. I've got my trusty bottle opener. We are going to start with A. Now, there, uh, some of the labels are a little roughed up just because they've been rolling around the fridge for the last couple of days. <laughs> but let's start with A. Now, I'm also not going to put these in glasses just because I think I'm gonna get mixed up which one is which. Um, so I know that really upsets people. I don't really care. A. Cheers, everybody. I know this. I know this. I don't know this. Now, in the letter that Ellie and Lily sent, they are from Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can never pronounce that name and you know that I cannot. However, some of the best ciders come from that region in the UK, whether I can say it or not. So I believe all of these are from Hertfordshire. I recognize this and I don't wanna embarrass myself by saying what I think it is um, because it may not even be a Hertfordshire cider, but to be honest, there's a cider called Angry Orchard. Is that, is that out, out that way? Or is that more of a Cornwall way? Honestly, I'm not sure. But this tastes like Angry Orchard. Either way, it's delicious. Angry Orchard, it can't be. Four out of four delicious, angry, mystery pints. It's delicious, it's got a wonderful flavor. It's not like a weird um, toffee apple or pear or passion fruit or anything like that. This is like a proper delicious tasting cider. Cheers, everybody. Delicious. But we got six more to go. <laughs> Next up, B. B is in a can. B is completely covered. Um, what do we think? What comes in cans? I don't know. It smells like cider. Cheers, everybody. Now this is more of a muted taste. It's not a strong tasting. I don't feel like I recognize this one. It's pleasant, but it's more simple, if that makes sense. I'm gonna give B, it's not A, I'll tell you that much. Three out of four and a half muted flavors. It's tasty, it's not offensive, it's a bit almost like watered down tasting, um, but it's, it's quite pleasant. Yeah, it is quite pleasant, isn't it? We gotta move on. <laughs> we need to move on. I didn't even get any snacks, what was I thinking? Next up, we have C. We are back to the bottle. I'll be completely honest, today has been very busy. I have a real job, <laughs> surprise. <gasps> I was just about to say, I have a real job and today has been really busy. And I said, you know what? I want to film my cider video right now. I'm going to take a breather, take a minute to do this video. Um, that just went through the floorboards. Give me a second, hold on. Hello, I am back again. Okay, well, my leg is a little bit cider smelling, but that's okay. <laughs> We have C, maybe got a little bit too jostled in the fridge. Cheers. Mm. 
This is so light. It almost tastes like it's got like a different fruit, like a raspberry or a strawberry or something like a bit extra fruity, but it's so mild. Like the last one, it's not offensive. It's just like very, very light. I don't recognize this. I don't think I've had this one. Yeah, it's almost got like a raspberry. I'm gonna double down on the extra fruit flavor. That may come back to bite me. I'm gonna say this is a beautiful five out of seven light raspberries. It's a little bit weaker tasting. Perhaps I'm just used to like a stronger tasting cider. Sorry, I'm shedding absolutely everywhere. Delicious though, but very mild tasting, very light tasting. And I wanna say there's raspberry or something else in there. We will find out. Next up we have D. D got a little bit wet in the fridge. <laughs> Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Here we go. D, everybody, cheers. I feel like I know this. Or maybe they're all just starting to blur together. Okay, I don't know what this is, however, Something about this tells me that I've had this before. So what is this? D and A, I think I have had before. Definitely not B or C. I feel like this is like kind of similar to something that I've had. I don't know, I recognize it. It's delicious though. And again, not a weird flavor, a classic cider flavor. I really like this a lot. I'm gonna say this is my second favorite. This is gonna be two out of two and a half lovely cans of mystery liquid. <laughs> this is really nice, really pleasant. I don't know what it is though. This is so exciting. I can't wait to unwrap these. Delicious. Next up, E, moving right along everybody. Um, e, back to the bottle, of course. Does that do anything? Please don't explode. Beautiful. All right, everybody, cheers. <laughs> What's your favorite cider? Leave a comment down below or just leave a comment anyway because you would be shocked how helpful comments are on videos. Did you know that? All right, cheers everybody. I've had this before. I don't know if this is Henry Weston, like at one of the vintage, Or maybe this is the Caddy or Katie. How do you say that? Katie cider or Caddy cider? You know the one that has the bright red apples on it? I think this might be that. Or like a Henry Weston's vintage, but it's not as spicy as that one. Oh my God. Can you guys imagine if I get one right? I would be shocked. My stomach is starting to like really gurgle <laughs> right about now. Okay, this is delicious and I've definitely had this one before. Okay, if you're keeping score at home, maybe this is my, this, this might be my new favorite. This might be A, which is something that I'm familiar with and I really love. I'm gonna give E six out of six. Wow, that's delicious. I like this a lot. I'd be very interested to see what this ends up being, <laughs> but not yet. Next up, F, back to a can. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm starting to slow down a little bit. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Cheers, everybody. Okay, a bit more tart, perhaps? I'm not totally certain if I've had that one or not. It's sort of um, middle ground. It's not like wow delicious, but it's also like not offensive. It's like nicely, beautifully, it tastes like ciders. I, I very rarely have met a cider that I don't like. Four out of six confused Fs. <laughs> I feel like I've had it, but then I don't think that I've had it. But I'm not sure. Okay, this is delicious. Middle of the pack, not mind blowing, but not bad either. None of these have been bad. <sighs> and finally, <sighs> G, back to bottle. 
<laughs> my stomach. <laughs> Cheers to our last mystery before we start unwrapping. This tastes very similar to what I thought was Henry Weston and or Katie or Caddy, however you pronounce that. I think it's Katie. You know the one I'm talking about. This tastes very similar to that. So this might be one or the other. <laughs> God, that's good. This is sweeter. I'm gonna say E is Katie and this is Henry Weston. I'm not even totally sure if those ciders are from that part of the country, to be completely honest. I was never good at geography. That shouldn't surprise you. Should it? It shouldn't. This is great. It's got like a different taste to it, almost like the Angry Orchard, almost like a Henry Weston. There's something about it that's different and it's interesting. Eight out of nine mysterious barrels. This is very good. To be honest, they've all been good. Again, have I ever met a cider that I don't like? Yes, K cider and Strongbow, but I won't cry if I have to drink Strongbow, I'll, I'll get through it. Um, K cider is the one that was pretty gross. Oh, my stomach is starting to make funny noises. Can you hear it? <laughs> uh oh. Okay, everybody, let me scoot over this way. Back a little bit, maybe. A to G, delicious. Now, for the reveal, obviously you guys can't really guess in the comments. I think, I've had this before, I'm gonna stick with my original thought that this is Angry Orchard. I need a knife to cut this. One second, don't go anywhere. Oh no, oh no, I'm in trouble. Okay, A. Shout out once again to Ellie and Lily. This is fabulous. We have talked about doing a blind taste test forever, but it's such a pain to like set it all up and stuff. So for you guys to just do it for me is honestly a blessing. <gasps> I was wrong. Oh my God, I have to reassess then. Oh my God. I'm gonna leave this on just a little bit so I don't get confused. A is our Henry Weston's Vintage, which was the one that I was thinking those later ones were. I was completely off. I thought this was Angry Orchard, but it is not. It's delicious. And interestingly, oh, I was gonna rank them, wasn't I? I don't think I have a favorite. They're all really good. But this was one of my favorites, which is fascinating. See, now that I know that it's Henry Weston Vintage, I can taste it. It's so weird how your brain does that. This was A, you guys. I'm shocked. Next up, we have B in the can. This was the one that I said I didn't think that I had, but now I'm tasting it again. I'm second guessing him. <laughs> I'm second. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say this is Thatcher's gold. Go big or go home. Thatcher's gold. Damn it! Oh, damn it, it's Scrumpy Jack. You guys, that is so annoying. <sighs> of course it is, of course. It's so funny, I did a cider video, which I'll link to at the end of this one, and this was in it. Both of those two were in it. I'm shocked. Okay, number B, letter B, didn't get right either. Moving right along. C. I don't recognize this one, but it does have a, a significantly different taste than the other ones in that I think there's a different fruit, like a raspberry or a strawberry or maybe even like a pear. I think there's something else in it. Really? Bulmer's original? I would have never guessed. I'm shocked. Granted, I haven't had Bulmer's in a long time. I usually kind of avoid them because I've had them before. So I've been trying to find like different ciders and trying ones I've never seen before. I didn't remember it tasting like that. Fascinating. Very good though. It's more mild than the other flavors though. So not my favorite, but I'm shocked. I had no idea. Next up we have D. <sighs> Hold on. 
Now I gotta rethink everything. I think this is Angry Orchard. It's incredibly smooth, like scrumpy. Is Angry Orchard from that part of the country? I don't know, but I think it is Angry Orchard and I'm sticking to it. Oh, this is Woodpecker. Cool can. I've never had this before. That's fun. I love trying stuff I've never had. This is delicious and it's super smooth and it's a great flavor. What more can you ask for? This may be my new favorite. Shocked, I know. Next, <laughs> moving right along, we got E. I think this is Katie. If it's not, I'm gonna scream. What? Stouffer Press. I'm actually not certain I've had this one. I'll be honest, I've had Stouffer, Stouffered low alcohol. Um, I don't know if anybody is interested. If you want to see low alcohol taste tests, please leave a comment down below. I actually am getting very interested in low alcohol stuff. It's fascinating to me because years ago it used to taste like awful, <laughs> like vinegar. <laughs> I've had some recently and they are so good. So if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, please let me know and I can do some taste tests. I had the low alcohol Stouffer'd and it was delicious. And this is delicious, but I don't think I've ever had this before. So that's really exciting. That's wonderful. Yum. And I was wrong once again. Next up we have F, which was a can, which is a can. I second guess everything in my whole life. I don't know what that is. Could it be Strongbow? Do you guys make Strongbow? I'm here for the I got Strongbow right. <laughs> that tastes better than when you know it's Strongbow for some reason. When you don't know it's Strongbow, you think, yeah, this is pretty decent. Is it the best? No, um, but you know what? I guessed it right, so I'm very happy. <sighs> Finally, G. What do we think G is? G's delicious. This has to be a Thatcher's of some variety. It has to be, it has to be. I don't know if you guys make Thatcher's. It has to be. Oh my God. Wow, I am truly shocked. I don't know what to say. I got them all wrong except Strongbow, which is the one that I don't even really like. But when you don't know it's Strongbow, it tastes a lot better. Now that I know um, what they are, to be honest, there's not a bad one in the bunch, even Strongbow and I will eat my own words. <sighs> I'm so sorry. However, the standout, the one that's intriguing the most because I've never seen it, has to be Woodpecker, which was our D option. Um, let me know if you guys had Woodpecker before. I've never seen it. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just interested in it because I've never seen it before. Either way, it's delicious. Once again, thank you so much to Ellie and Lily for setting this up. This has been so much fun. I hope you guys like the video. If you want to support me directly while getting exclusive content, please consider joining me on Patreon. Um, and thank you to everybody who's lasted this long in the video. Um, you're truly wonderful. And I am so grateful to be able to do stuff like this. If you would like to watch me get drunk for a second time, check out this video where I taste test some of the most popular British ciders. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.